A dangerous decision was presented before us. We basically had to choose between trusting one of our friends, Fox or Owl, using friends in quotation marks here, obviously. And it was either follow Owl's decision of continuing through the darkness but using the rainbow cord, or getting out of the darkness and going through a door of heavy pink fog, as suggested by Fox. And comments you have decided, with an overwhelming 70% of the vote, to follow the rainbow cord. Which is where we'll be going. Oh, 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 oh lord. Oh lord, okay. It is tempting to enter the doorway, but the cord seems to send out warm, friendly feelings that urge you on. Hand over hand, you follow it into darkness. Soon you hear a soft, soothing hum and see a faint light in the distance. Grasping your dagger, you hurry forward. You turn a corner and stopped abruptly. Before you, sitting cross-legged on the ground, is a tiny old man wearing only rags. Long white hair, a beard, and a mustache drape over his shoulders. As he sits, he sways back and forth in time to a tuneless melody that flows through his ancient lips. On the ground in front of him is a pile of smoothly polished, many-sided stones. Each stone is the size of a walnut, and each side is a different color. The strange old man moves the stones, constantly changing their patterns on the ground. A large prism hangs above him, casting a thin, faded rainbow. Grasping your dagger firmly, you step under the arch of the rainbow. The old man looks up and focuses his faded blue eyes on you. He stares at you, fox and owl, and then exclaims, Are it you? You're the ones! You're here at last! The ones? What ones, you ask? Why the ones I've been waiting for? Of course, the ones who will come for the key, says the old man impatiently. Key? What key? You ask, growing ever more confused. The key, hollers the old man. This one. Opening a leather pouch hung around his neck on a thong. Yep, that's his thong. He pulls out a small key covered with rainbow-colored scales. You sheath your dagger and say, I'm confused, let's talk. Maybe we can figure this out. Sitting cross-legged on the floor across from the old man and the shimmering stones, you introduce yourself and your friends. I am, I am Nesbit, says the old man in a faltering voice, as though unused, unused to speaking. I am the keeper of the key. I have been here for a long time, waiting. Waiting for what? For whom, you ask? Why, for you, of course, says the old man in surprise. The rainbow dragons told me to wait until you came. A young human, an animal, and a bird. Others have tried to take it from me, but I've kept it safe. I had rainbow dragons? What are they, and what is this key for, you ask in wonder? I don't remember, says the old man, putting a hand to his head. It was such a long time ago. Find it yours now. And opening the pouch, he hands you the key. We now have a rainbow key. Adding that just under equipment. Rainbow key. Why don't you start from the beginning, you say, staring at the key in puzzlement. When I first came here, King Chromos was dying. The evil kingdom was attacked by the forces of evil. The dragons gave me the key and told me to wait for you. I was afraid of the dark, so they gave me the cord to light my way and the stones to protect me. But I was too afraid to follow the cord, and I've forgotten how to use the stones. What do those stones do? asks Fox, Fox sniffing at them suspiciously. They are my protection. Watch, says Nesbitt. With thin, bird-like fingers, he arranges the stones in a circle around the four of you. Instantly, a brilliant rainbow mist surrounds you. Anyone trying to enter the circle will disappear, says Nesbitt. The stones will do other things too, he sighs. But I've forgotten the patterns. Like, what things can they do, you ask? Like, take you to places away from here? I've been waiting so long that my thinker is a little rusty and I've forgotten now. Wouldn't you like to leave here? See trees and grass and the sky again, you ask? 
Atreus Rask, I, I know these words, says Nesbitt excitedly. At least I used to. Well, it's clear we need to get out of here, you say. The only question is how. Two choices. Once again, comments. Fox suggests, I think we should keep following the cord. It probably leads outside. Or, Comment says, I think we should try to make the stones work. So thus, our decision forward is laid before us. Keep following the cord that we've been using, which led us to this man and got us a rainbow key, or these magical stones that can potentially have teleportation powers. We could tinker with them ourselves and rearrange them and see if we can get them working again. The choice is yours and yours alone. Look for the link in the description down below and cast your vote as Commons continues to make their way through the Rainbow Castle where Rainbow Dragons may or may not have their revenge.